Nearly two years ago, we introduced you to Ben Johansson, the man behind the Orlando Ribbon Project. Simple rainbow-colored ribbon turned into little symbols of hope and love to remember the 49 lives lost in the Pulse shooting. Johansson's mission is growing stronger by the day. Joining us now is the ribbon maker himself, Ben Johansson. I was looking at this picture. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank you so much for finally being in studio. Thank you. Yeah, it's an honor. Thank you. And so you and I met six days after Pulse happened, and you were just starting to make these ribbons. Tell us mm -hmm. how you started. Um, we were all gathered at the center uh, the very first day of the Pulse shooting. Um, and at the time of the shooting, my husband was the board of directors president for the GLBT Center. So that kind of made me the first lady. Um, and I questioned myself, and I said, well, what would Michelle Obama do? and she would sit her friends down and do something poignant. And um, then I called my father, um, who was a huge inspiration in my life, and had a conversation with him. And um, that's actually where the black swatches come from. He was a police officer for mm -hmm. uh, 30 years. And throughout my lifetime, whenever there was a black swatch on his badge, I would always question him. And it was just the respect bar. Um, and as the rainbow ribbon is the GLBTQ badge, um, I thought it was appropriate to uh, respect the 49 uh, that lost their lives here in Orlando. And you were also, I mean, from the last two years, there's been other, unfortunately, um, other tragedies that you've also kind of sent those as well. Can you kind of give us an idea of how that process has been? Um, yeah, actually, um, to, to show other areas of the country that they're not alone, that you know Orlando's been through it and we're here to help. It's something tangible to hold on to, no matter if you're from Orlando or you're from Thousand Oaks, which I just sent more ribbons to Thousand mm -hmm. Oaks last week. I'm sending to Borderline today. Um, they appreciate it because they feel like they're not alone. I've received tons of messages of support for the program um, from people that are in other areas that have had mass shootings. So it's, it's. And this symbol has been so embraced. I know we constantly see pictures of celebrities on social media with ribbons and you've got now about 700,000 of these ribbons worldwide. I mean, that has come a long way from sitting at the center yeah. on that Sunday to where we are today. Yeah, um, I am very fortunate to have amazing friends um, that uh, help me out. I, my fingers could not do 700,000 yes. ribbons on my own. Um, I'm very blessed with friends that work at the GLBT Center, that we, uh, we work with them. Um, we work with different GSAs or mm -hmm. gay straight alliances in high schools. Um, the kids want to help. They, they want to do something um, for other people. And, and this is a great way to bring the GSAs into the mm -hmm. fold of, you know, making the world a better place for people. And Ben, what's next for the Ribbon Project as it becomes a, you know, more and more of a global symbol of comfort and love and support? Um, we have applied for our 501c3 organization uh, so that we can become t fully tax-free um, and then we can also get grants and things. What we would like to do is we would like to start a uh, fund, excuse me, not a fundraiser. We would like to start a scholarship program that will send GLBTQ students to college that have been kicked out of their homes just because their parents don't understand them. Um, so they need to also know there are people mm -hmm. who do understand them and a little love and hope goes a long, long way. Yes, it does. And it's sad that there's a need for that, but there is a need for that. And I know you have ribbon angels that you call them that kind of do your work for you or help you with that mission. And people really respond when you give them a ribbon. I know that you're aware that a couple of weeks ago I was in LA and took yes. Wayne Brady a ribbon mm. on your behalf. And he was very touched when we gave him that ribbon. Here's some video. I know you haven't seen that yet, but he was very that. touched by that. And that's the response you get from everyone, really. Yeah, people really light up, you know, and at first it's, you know, a sad moment. Mm -hmm. But then it turns into what the ribbon is actually about, and that is to spread love and hope, but also to remember our 49. No matter where you are in the world, um, people have been responding 
And it is a good conversation starter when you have the ribbon and people ask you about mm -hmm. it. And then you can get into conversations with people who maybe don't necessarily have the same beliefs. And that's the best Absolutely. way to make the world a better place. It's just those personal interactions. Absolutely. We all don't have to get along 100% of the time. Right. But when you see that, I think people do get along. I think so. Love and hope. We love it. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you so much. Thank you.